Shalom Rastafari. Greetings, brothers and sisters and others checking this out right here. This is a this is a continuation, right, of exposing, right? Exposing, let's bring this up right here. Exposing pagan, pagan, so-called pagan propaganda. Propaganda. Right. This is why the more they talk about pagan, 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 it really doesn't hit the spot because they're not looking at the word. And the beginning was the word. And now f first part, we go into a little more details of this distinguishing pagan, right, or pagan, right, from urban. Pagan means of the countryside. The countryside is of the nature, like of nature, the way the almighty created the creator of heaven and earth created heaven and earth, you understand? And then, from the beginning, let's bring this down right here, let's bring this down right here, in the beginning, right, in the beginning, right, Cain, according to the Bible, according to the scripture, according to the testimony of our ethnically black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You say, oh, why are you saying black? It's not about race. You're pulling the race card. No, 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 no. Race is a human race. Right. There's either there's two kind of seeds, according to the Bible. Right. And what are these two kind of seeds? Well, in the Bible, it's very clear in Genesis three and 15. There are two kind of seeds. There is the human man seed, humanity seed. Right. And there is the serpent seed. Don't be deceived like Eve was deceived. There are two kinds of seed. There's the human seed and there's the serpent seed. In our first part, exposing pagan or so-called uh, pagan uh, propaganda and exposing pagan propaganda, we basically deal with those terminology. There's another vid we want to do about was Abel a pagan, right? Of course, we want to be like, oh, you, you can't say that. Abel was a righteous man. I didn't say he was unrighteous. I said, did he dwell in the field? Did he dwell in the countryside? It is his brother Cain, right, who murdered him, who our our master in medicine, Yeshua HaMoshiach says, was a murderer from the beginning. It's him, according to the Bible, who built the first city. And this is just like America today. America is a Gentile, is, is, is the Gentiles, when we're speaking about the Gentiles. Some people say this is this is uh, pagan. No, it's heathen, right? It is heathen. The proper terminology is heathen, right? Not paganical. When we go into the countryside, we don't find these things in the countryside. We don't see it. We see these false gods and these false idols in the cities, right? In the cities. These are some of the. I had this folder here, right, about um, America and 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 pag so called pagan, but really it's heathen. It's goyim. The Goyim are the Greco, the so-called modern descendants of the Greco-Roman people. Remember, it says that the Antichrist will rise out of the people who crucified Christ. And the people who crucified Christ was the Romans. This is why in a so-called Christian nation, you will find in their cities, in their urban centers, so-called pagan gods. That's a confusion. No, in the urban centers, you will find the heathen and the goyim, the gods of the Gentiles, the gods of the nations. In fact, you will almost find nothing for the God that they claim, the God of Israel, because true Israel is ethnically black peoples. Right? That's just the fact of the matter. Amos 9 and 7 will clarify that. These are all heathen, goyim, greco-roman gods. And you see the evidence for yourself right here. A so-called obelisk, well, also Egypt in that context will fall into that context right there. Right? Well, let's go forward right here. We want to show you a couple of these pictures and a couple of these coins right here. Look at all of these right here. All of them are goatees. Or, or it basically is goat's head, but it's the inverted five-pointed star, which is inverting femininity. The five-pointed star is a star of femininity. Ain't that interesting? How come they don't talk about that, right? Remember the two seeds, the seed of the woman? Who's against the woman? The seed of the serpent. This is why you find them in the American urban centers, the so-called pagan gods. Really, they are heathen, goyim, gentile, greco-roman. Don't want to talk about that? Is that being racist or is that being factual? Is that being accurate? 
All right, let's go forward here. Here we go right here. We touched on this as well from before. Uh, actually, we had that as one of the backgrounds there. And, and, and look at this right here. Right here. Look what they call it. The spirit of justice. Lost sheep of the house. Lost black sheep of the house of Israel. You still wondering why no justice, no peace? Right? Because you're worshiping the gods of the heathen. Right? The gods of the Goyim. And my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, Hosea 4 and 6. But read 4 and 5, right? First, all right, here we go again. And all these are in, right, you know, are in the city centers of Babylon, right, of confusion. Again, again, you notice, again, these are all Greco-Roman, heathen, Goyim, Gentile gods in the city, in the urban centers, not in the countryside, the Pagan. In the, on the grid, not off the grid. All right, here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. And we've actually uh, circumnavigated, right? This, these lower heavens. Awo, awo, more to come. And this is another installment of exposing right exposing there we go pagan propaganda